hopefully this works. Hello everybody, it is I again, and welcome to Reassembly. This is a game created by Anisoptic. It is a space sandbox game where you're a spaceship flying around, um, shooting and collecting resources that you're trying to grow. Um, and the unique thing about this game is it, well, reassembly. It, if you notice right there, um, it's slowly trying to come back together, and that's kind of the cool part of this game is, even if you get completely decimated to just your core, you can still build yourself back up and keep going. I will say, it is actually really difficult um, if you try what I did and go to a wormhole really early, I made that mistake, so even though I'm this large, I'm still getting completely decimated. So, um, we're going to start a new game. I got pretty far, if you want to say how this game is pretty far, um, once we actually start playing the game. Um, again, the, this may be a two-part first episode series, just a heads up, because I do all the explaining in the first one, and it kind of ends up in two, um, so... I've unlocked a few factions. Generally, you just start out with Terran, um, which is kind of your middle fact, medium build. You can start out with some decent weaponry. You have a lot more um, anti-close weaponry. Uh, meanwhile, farmers start out with a shield. Um, reds start out with a heavier weapon. Um, bees use beam weapons. It's kind of like their sting. Uh -huh, get it? Um, I actually don't remember defeating a Tinkerel. A Tinkerel? Um, I think that was actually just recently. Um, they use maneuverability and it looks like a lot more generators and shields. Um, I have seen Sentinels, they destroy me. I've seen a few smaller Crystallines and they just have massive numbers of missiles. So, that's each faction. We're going to start a Terran playthrough. Um, so we get to choose our color palette. My name is Earth Knight. Uh, this is the main color, and I want this. Let's go with green. A very bright green with a really dark red. I like that color. It makes the green stand out. Um, so on our starting ship, we have a uh, missile launcher, black cannon, plasma lasers. All these little things right here are thrusters. You have your generator, and then this is your ship's core. Um, I'll go over more of these parts when we actually start. But let's launch. Um, I found this game on accident looking at Avoya. Um, so this is a space station. Boom. And the map just loaded. So, your left mouse button fires your main powers. Um, there's that, so I don't have to explain that. And to display a mini map, mass field to zoom camera. Uh, the kind of objectives are in the bottom right. Right click to shoot secondary, which is normally set to missiles, but you can rebind it. And one to modify your ship. So, to modify your ship. We need a few of these things. So you have your size here, your P level. Um, basically, each thing costs so much P. So a plasma projector is 18 P. Auto cannons are 34 P. I'm going to get plasma projectors because these things are B A. Um, I actually want them more towards pointing center, but we will worry about that in a little bit. Rotating the pieces is kind of weird. Oh, whoops, that's duplicate. I didn't want to duplicate. There we go. You have to double click to actually flip it on the different uh, axes. Axes. That word. There we go. Uh, no, that's still not. There we go. Um, and we are at 294 of 300, so we have six more. 
uh, we can pop two thrusters way up here to get this kind of mobility. Um, so again, our ship core, or the command module, um, it gives you a basic rundown of everything that you can do. Um, and it also, uh, if it gets destroyed, your ship gets destroyed. But as long as that's put together, you can rebuild the pieces of your ship. So then there's also the upgrade tab. In the upgrade tab, um, you spend your C to either increase your P, which is your size of your ship, or to buy new pieces that you can add to it. So like right now we can do harvester and it basically increases range. Um, each one has its own little C. What I am going for is this lovely, lovely piece of equipment and this one and this one. Those are like needs and this one for a quest, but I don't use this very much. Had a bit of a break there. Um, so yes, I'm aiming to get these bigger weapons first um, because these will severely help me with some of the enemies with shield protectors. Shields to protect from railguns and plasmas. Uh, and then I want these to protect me from missiles because um, these just shoot everywhere. Um, and if you hover over them, you see like the mass at the very bottom, regrowth speed. That's how long it takes it to actually build. Um, one thing I do want to add to my ship are these. These are containers. Uh, they store more resources for you. So you can store more resources. And that's pretty much all they do. Uh, so we'll move our plasma cannons out to the side. This auto cannon is a high rate, short range. This will help um, shoot down uh, missiles coming at me or little drone. Oh, hi. I didn't know I had you. So apparently I can get three of these. So I need to just pop you in there. Then where do I put the missiles? And symmetry can... It's, I don't want to say bye to symmetry because so many people are going to flip out about it. Um, we'll put you there for now. No, I want... I do need missiles. Oh, wait. I need the missiles. But I also want the beam cannons. Dilemma. There we go. We're going to put it there for now. Um, yes. And, oh, wait, wait, wait. We're going to rename it. Um, hmm, the SK, F, yeah, Shadow Knight, Fleet, um, Derp, because it looks derpy with just that sticking off it. If you look at it, this is like looking at the side of the ship, though. You can, if you, if you're so concerned, we're looking at the side of the ship. Like, you just duplicate it on the other side. There you go safe. So the SKF Dirt. Oh, we have such nice maneuverability. This is nothing like the other one. So there are these little blue, they're really, they're actually really, what? What? Oh shoot, I gotta change the control scheme. These little blue thingies. Yeah, I'm picking those up. That's what we put in the containers. Um, I have to change the control scheme. But these aren't too big. Well, that one's, these are big. That one's not so big. That one's big. That's big. Compared to us, these are big. Big. That one. We're going to take out that one. We're close to that one. But first, we'll get the space station. So, green diamonds are our space stations activated. These are damaged or deactivated. We go near them. These are wormholes. Um, wormholes send you or your fleet to a new area. All these unexplored means we haven't been there. Um, so, let's see. That's where the zoom camera. Oh, fly near a damaged ship to for it. Fly near a spawner to trade R for C. Trade 100 R at a spawn. This control scheme's getting to me. I have to remember how I Okay, there we go. 
So I hit R so I could change the control scheme. So my arrow keys or my ASWD does the four north, south, east, west. Um, yes, I know how to escape, save, and quit. Three to enter ship, edit ships. So escape it takes you there. Three. This gives you the option to actually edit um, like what your factory is, but we don't have a factory. And um, it kind of shows you a fleet type view. So like I may use a mine freight in a backless go go scoots. Don't some people may this is really weird. I mean ours is the derp. Our ship's called the derp. Um Did we finish that one? Yes, so we need a trade. Oh, here's another small station spawner. Um, stations! There's a way to make them. I don't know how yet. I haven't gotten that far, I guess. Oh, get off me. But, but yes, each station um, generally unique to the area. Some stations are protected by enemy spawn things. So I know the farmers have these sunflowers, which are just massive missile launching plants. Um, here's another thing of the assembly. You can see it building pieces that aren't around it. Um, should be able to collect all this. Yes. Once the plants get too old, they turn into these blue dots that we use to sell. Um, trade for R for C. Earn C and R by destroying enemy ships and U to upgrade something. Uh, let's hit U. We will buy a shield projector that we can't put it on yet because we're at maximum. So right now we're really small, so scavenging is the best option. Oh, hello. You're dangerous. I know you from my other playthrough. Okay, if you notice these little tiny itty bitty things flying around, um, those are drones. They come out of the drone spawner. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, you. I can kill you. And as you kill each little one, you pick up this little swirling mass, which is um, the stuff you collect for money. So do we get 150? We do not have 150 C yet. 150 to upgrade. Okay, come on. Turn this way. Thank you. Oh, this maneuverability is so nice. We do not have enough power to actually punch through that though. And look at this. We're barely we're barely hinting the shields. And those drones are tearing us to bits. I'll show you what happens when we get destroyed though. Um, if he wasn't using just drones. I think if you fly inside the shield you can damage them, can't you? You can! Oh, let me destroy you. Die. Got him! The bigger the ship, the more uh, R you get. And the more R you get, the more money you have. You can The container things are what you use to increase your R capacity. There you go. And we'll just sit here and... Okay, now we'll go into upgrade screen. So let's upgrade again. Boop. Boop. We got twice. And we still can buy this... I'm just buying that. I don't use those ever. Okay, so the shield projector is massive. We're probably going to have to reorganize the ship. So I'm actually going to pause the recording and speed run the build or may start the new episode. I'm not sure. We will see. So, be right back.